Hello, fellow travelers. Oh, wait a second. I think I need to blow my nose. Hold on one second. Let's try this again. That's better. Hello, fellow travelers, and welcome to another edition of the Hotel Inspector. As always, I am your host, Joel Overnighter Daniel, and it's a pleasure to have you with me for this latest review. I do have to apologize. It's been several weeks uh, since I've had a review, and that was just because I kind of got burned out from all the traveling. So I had to travel uh, in order to kind of recharge the batteries and get back to traveling and reviewing for you guys. So we're going to do a quick scan around the room. And the one thing I want you to really think about as this review is happening is quality. Uh, quality and convenience and the ability to sort of mix things up. And we're going to dive into this together and you'll see what I'm talking about in a little bit. Uh, we're going to start from the front and work our way back. We have a bathroom there that is very standard. Um, one thing that's sort of nice is you have Pacific Blue Kleenex. Now remember I said quality, and that's a brand you might know if you've ever traveled to Western Europe or Southeast Asia. A very high quality brand of Kleenex found there um, that a lot of people use. Um, we have a, a closet here. And this closet has a very interesting handle. We're going to zoom in here. And it is uh, fun with tape. Now you might think that that's cheap, um, but it's also removable. Now I can come over here and I can put it on the fridge and use it to open the fridge. And it comes right off in my hand. Perfect. And I think I'm also going to use it to turn down the bed at night. And I just stick it on there. And boom, covers come perfect. Just, just perfect. Um, so I can't just express enough how just how how nice that is and how high quality that is. I'm just going to put it back. And I'm going to try to shut the door here. Just bear with me. It's a little sticky. Just, just trying to shut it here. There we go. See how easy that was? I mean, that was... My closet door at home doesn't shut that easily. And then we have closet number two. And... So we're just going to open the door here and put the shirt in here. Whoops, that is not closet. Oops, I've been fooled. Hold on. This is... I'm going I'm to replay that so you can see what happened there. That's a rookie mistake on my part. That's not the bed. That's a reflection. Here's the bed. Here's a mirror. Okay, you with me? Now I open the door the closet like you normally would and I, I went to hang up my shirt and, and there's the shirt so what this actually is is a closet with a tub in it so this is cool this is futuristic this means if I can squeeze in here and just, oh there I got it oh okay hold on I gotta catch my breath here that was a little bit physically difficult for me all right, so what this is, is this is in the bottom of a closet, and you can actually hang your clothes way up there. And you fill this with water and soap, and you push a button, and this tub will actually raise up, and eventually your clothes will become submerged in the water, and then they will wash them for you. Uh, and then when it's done, it'll automatically lower. And then in the morning, uh, you have really, really wet but very clean clothes. Um, so don't don't use that unless you have a way to dry them. That's something that really hasn't been invented yet. Um, I guess if you really were desperate, you could just place them on the air conditioner here and the airflow from that uh, would, would dry them. 
in maybe one to two days. Um, so again, based on the quality of this room, I'm going to give it a 12 out of 10. I just, I'm blown away by the washing machine in the closet, by the portable door handle in the closet. Um, and then there's also wallpaper that's coming down up here. Again, if you, if you want to pull that down, you could place it anywhere you wanted. Uh, so there's a lot of customization in this room. And last but not least, if you open the window, America. So, I mean, if that doesn't deserve a 12 out of 10, I don't know what does. All right, that wraps up this review. Thank you as always for joining me. This has been Joel Overnighter Daniel saying safe travels. If you're looking for Pokemon, there he is.